I just bought a hoopty. Nah, it's not a hoopty, it's a great car. Um, it's a 2011 335i um, with an N55 engine. So one day I was in the office with Katie and she's like, hey, I really like an uh, E90 335 because it goes rom rom. So I went to Copart, uh, punching years and models and this one popped. It had a really good buy now price, right? It had just a small uh, dent in the back, very fixable, no problem. And I did not know how many miles it was. So 10 years, an average of uh, 10,000 miles a year, I'm like 100, 120,000, give and take. Boy, was I wrong <laughs> when the car got delivered. Um, but we're going to get to the mileage in a minute. Um, so the car got delivered to my buddy because he has a license. He bought it for me. Um, very, very reasonable price. Uh, the description said runs and drives. Um, and went there the battery was completely shot dead had two drum box in it fired right up smooth smooth i'm like hell yeah and i'm still not looking at the mileage yet i look down surprise surprise a quarter million miles i'm like there is no way this this clean there is no way and because original plan was to buy it fix it and flip it right so there is no way I'm going to sell it with this many miles. Even though this car can go forever, uh, I decided that I'm going to keep this one for my daughter. She will be driving next year. So, um, but going back to the car, um, as soon as soon as we started it, I'm like, well, I'll take it to the shop, do a full inspection on it, fix whatever is wrong with it. I put it in drive. It will not move. Go in reverse. Nothing. Transmission light came on. I'm like, oh boy, there he goes. He needs a training. So uh, obviously my body, he has a shop. So we put the car on the lift and he, the car had zero transmission fluid in it. So basically there is a crack on the transmission pan. So we filled it up, four cores, and it shifts very, very, very smooth. I, I was worried after putting the fluid if it's gonna shift rough or anything. It's very, very smooth, very smooth. So there's no damage done to it. After a few minutes of running, you can smell burning oil and obviously the valve cover is leaking really bad. Um, having 250,000 miles in it, I decided I'm gonna change the whole valve cover. I got a genuine BMW sitting there. I have the genuine uh, ZF oil pan for the transmission and then, um, it needs, it's got brand new brakes, rotors and pads, but they never changed the sensor. So it needs those, it needs a light bulb here, restore the headlights, uh, repaint the front bumper, and obviously fix the uh, rear damage on it. And the interior is like spotless. I mean, like nobody's set in it. That's how clean it is. So um, I'm still, I'm like, why so many miles? Uh, we're gonna see in a minute after I remove the valve cover looks incredibly clean underneath the engine um, that tells me this car is very 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 well maintained um, so there is no reason to be afraid of having that many miles absolutely I will drive this car forever um, but like I said I'm gonna fix whatever is wrong with it drive it for a while make sure it's good the plan is to keep it for my daughter um, obviously if somebody comes with a good offer they can have it so how clean it is that's not a 250,000 mile car that's what's like blowing my mind I mean whatever it is I mean it doesn't matter it's it's way way well taken care of so yeah everything looks perfect
perfect. Looks like the Venus bolts have been updated. There is a service bulletin about it. And yeah. Quarter million miles. Man, he was looking for a hot minute, huh? So that's the new valve cover. The reason I'm doing, I can change the gasket, but the reason we're doing that is there is a uh, built-in PCV valve that goes out all the time. And I just laid that for an hour upside down and look how much oil came out. Okay, so job like this, always double check, triple check your gasket around because while putting the valve cover on, uh, the gasket tends to like roll and then uh, when you start the car, you're getting like lean mixture codes and you're like, what happened? So just double check everything, you know? housing, gasket, it's leaking everywhere, and you have to take everything off to get that bolt right there. There's this one bolt that's buried in there. That was, this thing was just over just a little bit. Just a little bit. You wouldn't have to do all this. You just kind of move the bumper out of the way, but <sighs> it's okay. That's why we get paid the big bucks. So. Let me go see if I have those in stock real quick. Being questioned by my employees what am i doing so I'm just curious. days we're living in today man i'm not question i was just asking a question ah, not you're questioning. questioning you were questioning was he questioning mike did he sound like he was questioning like interrogating me or something a little bit yeah yeah i'm not qualified for interrogation i don't get paid the big bucks like that yeah yeah maybe you're a spy or something from my competitors oh, no. I'm almost done with the valve cover and I'm gonna put this one into a stop for a minute 
because I got paying customers to take care of first and continue either later on today or tomorrow um, but for now this is it for this